In this lesson, you will learn how to graph linear equations using the slope and y-intercept. We will cover examples in slope-intercept form, standard form, as well as equations missing either the x or y term. For equations in slope-intercept form, the first step is to identify the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is the coefficient of x. The y-intercept is the point 0, b. So, in this example, the slope is 4 thirds and the y-intercept is 0, 1. Next, plot the y-intercept on the coordinate plane. The next step is to plot another point using the slope. Slope is rise over ran, and in this case, it is 4 thirds. The key concept to remember is that when the rise is positive, we move up. When it is negative, we move down. For our example, the rise is positive 4, so we move 4 units up. Similarly, when the run is positive, we move to the right. When it is negative, we move to the left. For our example, the run is positive 3, so we move 3 units to the right. Now, starting from the y-intercept, move up 4 units. Then, move to the right 3 units and plot the second point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. That's your graph. Now, let's see what happens when the slope is negative. First, Identify the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is negative 1 half, and the y-intercept is 0, 3, right? Next, plot the y-intercept on the coordinate plane. For a refresher on plotting points, check the link in the description below. Next, plot another point using the slope. Remember, slope is rise over run, and here it is negative 1 half. Place the negative sign in the numerator. This doesn't change the value of the slope, since they are equivalent fractions. So, the rise is one unit down and the ran is two units to the right. Now, starting from the y-intercept, move down one unit, then move to the right two units and plot the second point. Although two points are enough to draw a line, plotting more points can make your graph more accurate, especially when graphing by hand. From the second point, move down one unit, then to the right two units and plot the third point. Now pause the video and plot one more point. From the third point, move down one unit, then to the right two units and plot a point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. That's your graph for this example. Now, let's try something a bit more interesting. What if the slope takes you off the coordinate plane? How do we handle that? As always, start by identifying the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is negative 5 and the y-intercept is 0, negative 6, right? Next, plot the y-intercept. Note that the slope of negative 5 can be written as negative 5 over 1, since dividing any number by 1 doesn't change its value. This makes it easier to work with as a rise over run fraction. So, the rise is 5 units down, and the run is 1 unit to the right. However, moving down 5 units from the y-intercept takes us off the coordinate plane. So what should we do? Can we move up instead? If we change the signs of both the numerator and the denominator, the slope stays the same because 5 divided by negative 1 is still negative 5, right? So, with our modified slope, the rise is 5 units up and the run is 1 unit to the left. Now, starting from the y-intercept, move up 5 units. Then, move to the left 1 unit and plot the second point. See? We're now inside the coordinate plane. Now, pause the video and plot one more point. From the second point, move up five units, then to the left one unit and plot a point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. Now what if there is no constant term? What does that mean for the y-intercept? No constant term means b equals zero. So, the slope is three-fourths and the y-intercept is zero comma zero, right? Next, plot the y-intercept, which is the origin. Since the slope is 3 fourths, the rise is 3 units up, and the run is 4 units to the right. Now starting from the y-intercept, move up 3 units. Then move to the right 4 units and plot the second point. You can now draw a line that passes through these two points. But if you want to plot another point on the opposite side, change the signs of both the numerator and the denominator of the slope. Then follow the same steps. With the modified slope, the rise is 3 units down, and the run is 4 units to the left, right? Now, 
starting from the y-intercept, move down three units, then to the left four units and plot the third point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. Now what do we do if the equation is in standard form? In this case, first, convert the standard form to slope-intercept form by isolating y on one side. Start by subtracting the x term from both sides. On the left side, these cancel out, leaving 5y. On the right side, we get negative 2x plus 10. Here, write the x term first, then the constant term to match the slope-intercept form. Then, divide both sides by 5 to isolate y. Remember to divide every term. These cancel out, leaving y by itself. 10 divided by 5 is 2, right? Now our equation is in slope-intercept form, so you just need to follow the same steps as in the previous examples. First, identify the slope and the y-intercept. The slope is negative 2 fifths, and the y-intercept is 0, 2, right? Next, plot the y-intercept. Next, plot another point using the slope. Place the negative sign in the numerator. So, the rise is 2 units down, and the run is 5 units to the right. Now, starting from the y-intercept, move down two units. Then, move to the right five units and plot the second point. Now, pause the video and plot another point on the opposite side. First, change the signs of both the numerator and the denominator. With the modified slope, starting from the y-intercept, move up two units. Then to the left, five units, and plot the third point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. Almost done. Let's graph one more equation in standard form before we dive into special cases. First, convert it to slope-intercept form. Start by subtracting 6x from both sides. Then divide both sides by negative 3. These cancel out, leaving y. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 is 2. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3, right? Now, the equation is in slope-intercept form. Feel free to pause the video and graph it. The slope is 2 and the y-intercept is 0, negative 3, right? Next, plot the y-intercept. The slope of 2 can be written as 2 over 1, right? So, the rise is 2 units up and the run is 1 unit to the right. Now, starting from the y-intercept, move up 2 units. Then move to the right one unit and plot the second point. Pause the video and plot two more points for practice. From the second point, move up two units, then to the right one unit and plot the third point. Repeat these steps from the third point to plot the fourth point. Finally, draw a line that passes through the points. Now let's see special cases. What if there is no x term in the equation? We can write this in slope-intercept form as y equals 0, x minus 4. From this, we can see that the slope is 0 and the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 4, right? Now plot the y-intercept. A slope of 0 means there is no rise. The line doesn't go up or down. So, when the slope is 0, the line is horizontal. So just draw a horizontal line that passes through the y-intercept. In general, if an equation is in the form y equals k, where k is a constant, then the slope is 0, the y-intercept is 0, comma k, and the graph is a horizontal line passing through the y-axis at k. Now, let's flip the scenario. What happens if there is no y term in the equation? Since there is no y, this equation cannot be written in slope-intercept form. x equals 2 means the value of x is always 2, no matter the value of y. This means there is no run. The line doesn't go right or left. So, the slope is undefined. When the slope is undefined, the line is vertical. Therefore, the graph of x equals 2 is a vertical line crossing the x-axis at 2. Since the line doesn't cross the y-axis, it has no y-intercept. Instead, it has an x-intercept, which is 2, 0. In general, if an equation is in the form x equals k, where k is a constant, then the slope is undefined, there's no y-intercept, and the graph is a vertical line passing through the x-axis at k. To graph linear equations using the x and y-intercepts, check the link in the description below. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.